So we love you guys. Okay, please take a seat. Have take a, a seat. seat. Have a seat. Whose idea was it for this dance movie? Yes, how did you guys create it? <laughs> wow. It's interesting. Who came up with it? Which um, <laughs> okay, so speaking from our point of view as uh -huh. producers, yeah. when, when we are trying to do music, yeah. we imagine how the song is to be at the end. Ah. So we think of it and then now, okay, we go like, okay, to the left. Then the B should play right after saying, right. okay, to the left. So it's like the writing skill is from scratch. Exactly. Wow, so yeah. the whole concept of the idea is, is figure out even before the song even yeah, starts. Yeah, yeah. Even and as we that's write amazing. and make the beats, you know, the concept of the video also comes into play. No yeah. way! Yeah, yeah. Direct all our videos. So. But this one, you did a dance video before the video itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, as so well. the video, the dance video uh -huh. was when we were shooting the music, the music video. Oh, and you decided to post that first? Yes. Yeah, it's oh. important to make sure that... Yeah. So before you know it, I had caught on even before the video exactly, had come out. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. No, but why you not worry? Because when I checked, the dance video had like 1.6 million views. Yeah. The main video itself had 1.2 million views. Yeah. Why you not worry that that had taken more of the shine than the original video? No, no. Um, um, the algorithms are placed in a way that they still take royalty from since the audio is still oh. in it. Yeah. On social media. So, so you add twice yeah. for the, the press of I know, I love right? it. <laughs> that's really smart. No, but Goza has been, would you say that's been like, even before Clap though, that has been like one of your biggest songs? Well, well it it's, depends. It's, it's battling itself. Yeah, yeah. It's something like ish. It's uh -huh. five years now. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's still there. Yeah. yeah, it's the yeah. step with all the songs. There's yeah. Confirm, there's Zanku. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like, every song of yours is like a party. Yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah. let's right, dance. Jam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly, it's, it's it's okay. So we we tend to narrate our childhood mm. as we grow. Anything we we go through, mm. we just put it in our songs and mm. then the music video. So this is more like when we were in like class okay. five, six going. No way. We used to drum on tables at, oh. at um. Sacrady services. And you know, services we always basically. in class we always imagine that we're shooting a music video with our friends. You know, and those all kind of that. Things, so yeah. we decided to put it <laughs> okay, so while, while we have the money dressing. now, we'll just yeah. <laughs> this dream has been there since yeah, we were in school. Yes. And I'm sure it's, it's the same dream for a lot of kids out there. So, mm. yeah. yeah, I say once you have the money now, but you guys have been Dada B since you were young. Oh no, no Dada B no, no days. You weren't? No, 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 at all. At all. How come? Um, <laughs> I, well, it depends on the type of Dada Bees. Right. You have but me, I heard, I heard that you guys were like proper oh, Dada no, Bees no, when no, you were growing yeah, up. So this well. came easy for you. No, you know, be DBs. You know, the, the struggle of music is not just to be a DB. Yeah. You, know, you, you need to explore, you need to experience before you, so that you can put a lot of passion in your, mm. your stuff. So, yeah. I see. Yeah. So this new one that you have, Clap, as well, is a story that you're telling about yourself. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so for Clap, we were on stage and we were thinking of various ways we could make like, let's say, multitude of people mm. do something at a mm. time. And she was like, why don't we make them clap? So we're like, okay, okay. So let's think of how the beat would be. So now if you listen to clap and the beat, clap, the beat makes you clap actually. So when you say, when you see me just clap and yeah. everybody goes like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's, yeah. that's our yeah. Yeah. sound, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. In church, you go like, I tried, yeah, I tried. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just decided to infuse it. And the beat is a fusion of house music, yeah. Afro beats, and then I'm a piano. I'm a piano. Even yes. though we have a hip hop beat. So mm -hmm. when you listen to most of our beats, you hear Af Afro beats, you hear the, the, the um, African mm. tunes, but mm. then you kind of feel like it's foreign. You know, mm. that kind of vibe, yeah. I like that you said it kind of feels like it's foreign because yeah. Shelly, you guys are trending. Yeah. Times Square, if you have your video uh, played there or you have your your, <laughs> your picture it's even projected, deal. it's a big deal. Like everybody yeah. was watching, I'm sure they were all like, oh, this is cool. This yeah. is Every day we party. Yeah. So you guys wrote this yourselves as well? Yeah. 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 Every day you do party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like... Well, I wouldn't say we party, but yeah. You did try. Our workplace is... is we actually the center of the party. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah, so. so, and we have become the center to this thing that um, parties like now seriousness to us. Yeah. yeah we could mm. be in a club listening to music, but we would only be talking about the dynamics of the sound and not mm. because we are enjoying mm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. mm. That's cool yeah. though. But how how did you guys work things out to have your video played at Times Square? Because mm. that's mm. a big deal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First shout out to Barry Styles. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, Barry, Barry is um, our business manager in the US, so he happens to do most of the things. We are mm. independent artists and we are a powerhouse. We are producers and we own our own record label. Okay. So we are trying to do things that are beyond our our reach. Yeah. So Barry is there trying to get things done and mm. he's the one who got the gig. Um, got a video there, he was like, yo guys, why don't we promote it on Times Square? It's, mm. it's, it's, it's a good thing and yeah. it's something we are willing to share with. Yeah. Uh, Do you uh, have to uh, pay for it to be played? Well, yeah, you yeah. have to. You have, you, to. Have to. You, have to. you have to go through procedures, you know. Okay. It's not just any video that could be 
play yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so we just decided that you know the the one time we'll get it played or the number of times we'll get it played we'll just to premiere it there mm -hmm. before we exactly. release it mm -hmm. so. oh so it was premiered there before you yeah, released, before it released it here, here. Yeah. what has been the feedback has anybody called you and said i saw your video you guys be dope there are lots of people there you know yeah yeah, yeah like like more, more than a thousand people yeah. and, and they were just all on the screens watching so yeah if, if they chance by your video and the place they could shazam it mm, yeah. it helps your streams i guess you so it's not just about um optics case, yeah, yeah. Exactly, how yeah. much does it cost to get your video played at times um right. well for the for the for the that business side of it i would i would, I would like maybe anyone who is interested in it to just see, you see back door so you cannot see it yeah, out there yeah. i'm asking because we're hearing there's the, there's a debate about how much artists invest in promoting their work so whether it's a song it's a video and Davido has become the center of that conversation yeah. because, I mean, he's granted an interview where he said his previous album, he spent about $2 million yeah. and recent one, he spent about 300000 or so yeah. dollars. And so there's a concern about Ghanaian artists and whether you're really investing in your crafts and promoting it as well and not calling your friend and saying, Charlie, I've released a video, go and watch it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where do you stand in all of this? I, I think I think it's, it's, it's very like normal for every business to have that, you know, and we have people who sell um, vegetables, right, mm -hmm. tomatoes. And, and some people sell it in low scale, some people sell it in large scale. Mm. You know, say, Davido with two million for an album, I think even if he had more, he would even yeah, go yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, if we had two million, I'm sure we'd also go in. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think it's like that, we, we try our best, you know, okay. as independent mm -hmm. artists, yeah. Mm -hmm. and when we, when we get a label, I'm sure we'll also okay. do it. Yeah. When yeah. you get a label, but yeah. I thought you guys said you're independent, you're yeah, running are, your own label, but you're but open are you to looking it. For, yeah, 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 there are, there are labels there who are types of on labels. Okay. Yeah, there are there major are labels, labels. labels in the world, yeah. the big okay. labels in the world. Yeah. Labels, there are Ghanaian labels working on big labels. Mm -hmm. So I think it's fair enough our label also goes to yeah. So if you're looking to sign onto a label, have you started looking out for um, which ones in particular? Well, not yet. Um, like I said, we are producers. At the same time, we are artists, we are songwriters. So there's a big conversation here and not just an artist you see that has songs. Mm. So I think we would have to talk about it, break it down mm. and just know what Dope Nation wants because we are on a trajectory. Mm. What we want is based on what we want the people to see. And it's, yeah. it's our life we are preaching. We, it's not that we sit down and, okay, this melody is nice. We want to pick this. No, we want to preach what we live yeah so we would have to get people who are willing to like um dig deep into our thoughts and then maybe um amplify it to yeah. the world. yeah so what kind of label are you guys running at the moment what are your limitations uh i do i don't think we have limited the only thing is we are trying to get our music like out there out mm -hmm. there like mm -hmm. in, into the world because when you leave ghana you go outside you this know you, you don't thing. you don't get to hear a lot of Ghanaian yeah. music, even yeah. if you get to do it's like the very old ones, yeah. you know, so we are trying to catch up with that. Yeah, so yeah. that's the only thing we are we are looking at doing without or with the label. Are you mm. making money from your music, from the streams, from views on YouTube? Yeah, yeah with time. Yeah. With is time. it enough to want to invest it is, as it much? Is, well, it's it enough, but it's not two million dollars. It's enough, but it's not two million dollars, and I'm sure we'll get to that. When we get to yeah. that, we'll definitely push it. What's the reason? Are we streaming as Ghanaians? Are we streaming your music enough? Well, or do you think Ghanaians are for? streaming. Okay. I think it, it recorded last year or so that yeah. seven million on Spotify. So Ghanaians are streaming. It's just that Ghanaians are not patronizing us the more. And oh. I feel it's it's um it's um a 50 50 thing mm. we have to do our side to make sure we are being heard mm. and then they also have to do their side to know that they are patriotic enough yeah. to listen to us so it's, you've done your side no we are no, not we, we are, are still doing it. you know okay. every song we drop we learn from the mistakes and you know it's, it's, it's like you are paying you are paying so today i paid here and it didn't work out next time i pay here and then I, it works out okay mm. the next time i bring the song i'll be paying here more so okay. i you know that's how mm. it is and then it grows we can't because of the fact that we are doing our stuff alone we can't um go all out and then um okay the next time we go all out at the same wrong place you know mm. we, when we go all out the next time and we realize that is the right side we we take it the wrong side we take it out mm. and then look for another avenue to promote that's how bigger we get and then their strategies their musical strategies we lend them it's very hard for an artist who has brought out his or her um, 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 creative masterpiece, mm -hmm. listen to a, a business person say, no, don't do this, do mm -hmm. this. You know, it's very difficult. But sometimes when you take into consideration these things, it, it turns out to amplify your work. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah. Quite interesting. Yeah. What would then be the biggest lesson you've learned as not just artists, but two people who also run your own record label, write your own songs, produce your beats, all that. What would be the biggest lesson you've learned in all of this? Wow. Mm. Well, me, I, I, it's a simple sentence. What? Don't do things for free. Oh, <laughs> don't yeah. do things okay. for free. Why yeah. do you say that? Um, I, 
Dope Nation has been very instrumental in, our, in, in the Ghanaian um, space, mm. in the African space, but with time we have not been um, shown um, that... Um, 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 appreciation maybe? No, no, I won't say appreciation because it, it will look like you're looking out for something. Mm. We have not been given that recognition mm. because um, I'll say, and not from the people. The people are doing their work by listening to us, they support mm. us, so yeah. I understand, but I say it um, in terms of musical colleagues. Okay. You know, um, there are lots of artists we have produced, first bangers, their first songs, and it's, it was big out there, you know. Wow. And later on, you don't get to hear from them. Like you know. who? Oh, I don't want to mention names, but mm. um, I only say it because we had our major concert in um, Achimota, yeah. and we invited a whole like ton of artists, people that owed you at least exactly an appearance. Like, in that yeah. um, um, conversation, Sense, yeah. and and it happened that most of them were not around. Is he one of the people you're referring? Yeah, was there. He was there. <laughs> yeah, he was okay, there. so he's been supportive. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. He's been um, very instrumental. But so. Other artists did not show up. Exactly. They haven't given you the exactly. you know your due as well. Y yeah, yeah. They, okay, if you if you take it as that. Yeah. But me, I see it as well, and apart from what we do, we also write for you in the studio. Mm. Apart from that, we also make sure we perform songs that we've, we've um, featured you on. So even when you're a new artist and you're coming out, you by the time you're out there, exactly. Mm. Why didn't you charge them for the work you were doing? Okay, so this is how charge. it works. Um, okay. It's like you're at, you're at work, Bella, and then you get a call from, um, I want to use someone who has been doing this work for a very long time. Let me take the Kuma Mama Zimbi. Yeah. She calls you and is like, oh, there's a new girl here. And, and you because of the respect you have mm. for her, you mm. put the girl in, mm. you do all your best because you you um you coming in you were also brought in by someone else yeah. to get it so you do that based on your diligence but as time goes on people change fame is a blessing and a curse at the same time mm. yeah, so. I see. yeah that's his view what is your view because you were going to say something totally different yeah, from what you think. completely different like I, I just wanted to talk about um how you get to um um get legal people to take your contracts mm -hmm. and then go through them before you even sign anything. Mm. Yeah, it's very important. Um, you don't hear people going out for contracts just like that. They mm -hmm. actually have legal backing, you yeah. know. And right now in Ghana, they're like, "Yo, when are you guys going to sign into a foreign label mm -hmm. and all of that?" You need to know what they are in for, mm -hmm. how they are going to help you and get mm -hmm. your music out there. You can sign with the label and get mm -hmm. rich, but if the music doesn't sell, then people will be like, "You're a failure." Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah. I Is it a mistake you have made before? No, we haven't. In we terms haven't. of legal. No, we haven't. Issues. We haven't. We haven't. I think the only label we've signed to. Um, since we, we, we started was um, links, right? Yeah. Then we actually took our time to go through our contracts. Yeah. The only thing is like with foreign labels, like I said, when they come in, you know, don't just rush into them. Yeah. Fine, when you start, the songs will be big and all of that, but then it will get to a point in time where you cannot release at all. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Because yeah, on the contracts, they have, you know, a lot of things that will bind you from doing yeah. some things. Was being a label maybe under links an option that you, you considered? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We had a lot of options. options. We had about yeah. six yeah. options. We had calls. Yeah, mm. we, had yeah calls. But we ended up with links. Mm. Yeah. And it was a good... It was yeah, a links, good. Yeah. Yeah. We, did, we did wonderful under links. We released yeah. wonderful music. Mm. Yeah, It was a year. We stayed yeah. with them for a year. Mm. Was it a deliberate choice to just do a year's contract? Um, well, from the onset, yeah, because we didn't want to go so long. Mm. Like I said, we, we, are, we are just not artists. So sometimes we look into like the in-depth of what we do. Apart from taking royalty as artists, we take royalty to as producers. And when, we, when it gets to a time that when you are growing, it's growth. It's, it's a, a sort of look arrogance, mm. like arrogance, mm. but um, it's growth. Yeah. And you feel like, okay, I think you need to up this because um, my value is, is getting yeah. more. Yeah. And, and some people don't get to understand it yeah. sometimes. Hmm. Yeah. And then you know when you, you write your music and you want it to look this way mm. and you you know, you give the music out and then you, the video comes in or maybe the whole the whole vibe of the song comes in and yeah. comes it's, out it's and totally then it's, it's totally different. Mm. You know, it, it, no it just... No creative freedom. Yeah, you just, yeah. You know, even be satisfied. There's something you want to preach as an artist. Mm. You know, there's something you want to preach. Mm. We had we have a project, um, NDC MPP. I, 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 we came here and then we yeah. wanted to show mm. it to you, but I yeah. think you were oh. here. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and we met Johnny it. Hughes. Mm. And, and yeah, we showed it to him. So this when my brother dressed as um, um, uh, MPP. I think we played it a few times on yeah. TV. Yeah. You and the Batakari yeah. mimicking. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. As, I remember as that. much as we didn't want to step on toes, we just wanted to preach what is happening. Mm. So we had to use um, teases, data from you guys, mm -hmm. your headlines, and then oh, okay. put it in rap form. So if something like that, you about to do something like that and then we, maybe you're going for the music video and this is the kind of video you want to bring out and um, maybe you're working with a label and they're like oh nah i think you should have a car mm. you know and, and all that it, it, it's yeah it shows um that kind of um, um level as an artist mm, but yeah. it doesn't preach 
what you are, you the are, message. Exactly. Yeah, the message gets distorted mm-hmm. in between mm-hmm. yeah. all those bureaucracies. And that is is very troubling, you yeah. know. Apart from all the um, contracts and the the um, systems and all that, you know, I think there should be one pure purity. Mm. We should be able to preach. The way it's supposed to be, mm. you know. Sometimes you listen to music from outside. You're like, did he really write this? Yeah, yeah. That that's what. So something's supposed to come from this side. Are yeah. you open to letting other people write for you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you had people write some of your songs? Well, um, let's just say we are we are we are lucky to the extent that we don't have people writing <laughs> for us because mm. like it's it, it still boils down to what we want to preach, mm. you know. And when you consider the Ghanaian music, no one writes it better than the Ghanaian themselves yeah, yeah and we sit in that space where but, we but actually, also for variety because otherwise yeah, then true. your song becomes one way because mm. everybody can almost predict yeah. okay so what's interesting how your song is, is gonna go what's interesting is we've written a lot of songs that don't sound dope nation and they mm. actually break songs out and they're out there yeah they're out mm. there yeah. It, it, it will surprise you yeah and we did that when we were in school okay yeah, yeah. when we were in songs for other artists other yes artists. that are being dropped like now but yeah. we did them in school. In school. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's like seven years back. You wow. wrote that when we seven years. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Mm-hmm. Most of these songs, and um, we have a lot of songs. Mm-hmm. If, uh, if we have like our laptops. If you show you the songs, you like you like them. Some of them are not even they are reggae, reggaeton, wow. um, R and B. Even when Afrobeat was not a uh, thing. But we don't see you guys dropping those kind of yes, songs. Because, Why? Because because the art is dope nation. Michael and Tony, the art <laughs> is dope nation. They are the pop, the club, the life of the party. Oh. They are not yeah. the R&B, you know, you get it. It's I'm, sure, like, I'm sure it will get to the time where there will be that switch. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. it would have to work with growth. Yeah. Mm. When it gets to that time, we'll definitely get to release. But you see, because we always experiment our sound, we yeah. merge the Ghanaian sound with a lot of foreign sound. Mm. We, we just need to know when it is right to drop yeah. that sound. We cannot okay. just drop it and yeah. then it will be there. Mm. Otherwise, mm. we'll drop it. No one will listen to yeah. the song. And then maybe 20 years later, when we are very old, then they'll start jamming to the yeah. song. Yeah. Like, oh, mm. yeah. So that, it's a fear, waited. which is why you have it. It's okay. It's okay. So, 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 yeah. so, let me, so let me break the fear. Okay. There was this time we were like, no, let's do gospel. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. And we looked out and we were like, we have to sing and put it in a, um, a female artist. Mm. But how do we do it? And we found out that, okay, there was this girl. She, I think she came to TV3. Mm. She had an interview here. She is visually impaired. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember yes, you guys yes, gave yes, her a yes, song. Yes. Yes. It's technically our song. Mm, yeah. We wrote the song right. for her, gave her a name, and then gave her the brand. the brand. We just wanted to show purity in the female side. side What's happening to her now? Are you guys she, still working okay, with well, her? Well, um, we, there were certain factors, okay. her health issues. You know, Adelaide, mm. Adelaide can't stand for long. Oh. So when she stands, it's like let's say an hour and two. Mm. So you can you can get to when um you have your crew, video director, um video director, mm. videographer, photographer, PR, all those people are around working at a time. Everybody must work before she gets tired. Yeah. Mm. It's it's stressful. Okay. Yeah. It's just that the reason why um things became some way was that um we traveled. Okay. We went to um London for um a, a tour. Yeah. And and we, we heard uh, there was a blogger that wrote something nasty about it and it made the whole news something nasty about who you or her about the me whole, and the whole, the whole and then, you know, the what relationship you know them? people sit back and they don't and really know what is like, going go, on like mm-hmm. what's technically mm-hmm. going yeah. on they only want to bring out their own idea maybe when they see this is like yo this is it you know mm-hmm. but anytime you guys see Ali on the screen we are at the back yeah. doing Pushing things, work. making yeah. sure that yeah. things are. You yeah. actually had to pause releasing music for some time. Yeah, just for Adelaide sure. or for yeah. yourselves? No, no, for ourselves. For Adelaide, for ourselves. To, to have we, a even, we even paused for Dance God Lloyd and then Afro Beast. Yeah. So if wow. you realize there was a time Dance God Lloyd and Afro Beast were having interviews. Yeah. Now that's Dope Nation, yeah. but that's Dope Nation in dance, dance form. Yeah. Oh, I see. Exactly. There are Tell artists me that more. Have, there are artists that have <laughs> songs that are out there. And you are in the studio, and the artist doesn't have, um, I will not say confidence, but mm. the artist, you see, um, recording someone is an art. Mm. You need to break the person down and tweak him or her mm. to bring mm. the art mm. out. Mm. So mm. earlier, two years ago, mm. we wrote a song, and the song, um, um, an artist came with a song, and he had the idea, he had like, the scribble lines like two three lines and we're mm-hmm. like no you know what break it this way sing it this way and it was produced by willis beat okay. but Dope nation happened to do the mixing and mm-hmm. then kewa did the matching at the end the title is this year by mr drew what you will not know so that's what i'm trying to you say you're kidding yeah so okay so back to your question writing songs yeah do you yeah. get me uh-huh. i get so you now yeah. but this is where you will not get Dope nation in the writing um category yeah. you will not get Dope nation as producers of the year so yeah. i think when i say the recognition is not there yeah it's true because and you're behind a lot of incredible hits. it's been seven years now i mean i think you know? it's, it's, it's and no songwriter of the year no nomination. no, 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 no. If, if if we were to be in an outside country we should own two mountains <laughs> i know right literally yeah, yeah. 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 literally because 
talk of our own our, our hit songs, our features, then other projects you know, you've worked, projects on. worked on. Yeah. And the ones we are Amazing. yet to... What, to yeah. Yeah. Is it out there or you guys have decided to stay anonymous? Eh? No. Because in a lot of these... We don't know that yeah. you're so, like you, you worked exactly. on something this year. I mean, yeah. Like, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. how do we not know this? Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to all those we've worked with, the artists we've worked with, they are really amazing, you know, somebody like Famiye. Mm. So amazing. You've worked with Famiye as well? Yeah, Nothing yeah. I Get was produced by Adobe Nation. Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hear so, yeah, that's the jingle. Oh, that's, that's our jingle. Yeah, yeah. All of them. So I get what you mean then. So the industry people should know some of these things. Especially yes. for especially a scheme as VJMA. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, I think they do. I they do know. Our yeah. fans, yeah. Our fans yeah. are even the ones supposed to really know this. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't I don't consider industry. I, I, I want the fan to know. You know, when they know, they would even make more noise for the About industry. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And there are a lot of things that, you know, has set us back, you know. Because mm -hmm. we feel like there, we, we need that recognition mm -hmm. to let people know that this is what we actually do. Mm -hmm. And for some time, um, the best group category has yeah. been out of the mm -hmm. VGMA. Mm -hmm. like but then there's a group just as vibrant as Dope Nation that, yeah. that should be on, on the scheme. Exactly. We've, we've, been, we've been with groups outside Ghana, Ghana yeah. in Africa that tell yeah. us about our works. And yeah. we really like it. It's, and it's the Nigerians amazing. listen to us. Yeah. You know, the South yeah. Africans listen to us. Yeah. East Africans. So wait, did you file for songwriter this year? Um, not us, Last our year. manager did. We Your actually gave did. up like three years ago yeah. after we heard that the group of the year category was, was out. You out. see, the thing is that uh, with time, we are talents. Yeah. With time, when the cyber bully and then the, mm. the whole um, industry play weighs you down, you don't have to give in to it. You have to protect your talents. Mm. And so it's not that we are not outspoken. You know. The more we get outspoken, you don't do things that the talent wants you to do. Yeah. Like I said, it's purity. You've been bullied. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> I mean, wow. Everybody knows Several this. Times, yeah. Yeah. But then it's fine. Wow. And the, the, the category space, too, um, you didn't know where to put our music because we make the beats from scratch. Mm -hmm. And that's fusion. You know, that experiment alone is. You can't tell if it's high life tell. or it's hip life, or, but it. then it's Ghanaian music, mm -hmm. you see. So mm -hmm. it's really hard to, when you get the forms and you want to apply online or something, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know where to put Dope Nation. Because the categories, yeah, they don't fall. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. we need a lot of producers in that space as well mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. go out, research in every studio mm -hmm. to know what an artist is up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before mm -hmm. you can come out with that whole list of, of um, artists. nominations. Yeah. 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 We commend them for their good work. I mean, yeah, it's not course. easy to be able to host um, one of the biggest events, musical events in mm -hmm. the country. But you see, the thing is that they need to, um, as in Charterhouse, mm -hmm. they need to employ vibrant youth that okay. would be able to collect like musical data of mm -hmm. artists, mm -hmm. you know, and, and be able to project it. Because we had a song today that clocked over 4 million streams on Spotify, mm -hmm. was never nominated. We didn't understand. But you wow. see, the thing is, over the year, you are investing, you are spending. Lots of people who are in outside regions, Takrade, Kumase, um, Cape Coast, they yeah. know that we come and do radio tours and all sure. that. Mm. This, is, this is money from our pockets, you mm. understand? It, it, and it's very deep that you would finish all this and then it just happens to be from a group of people, the board, who sure. make the decision. decision. And you see, it's painful when? because, Charlie, we they spend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and we don't like to speak numbers because it's a business thing. Mm. But then at the same time, music is in a way that a year yeah. are grow to some people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they don't they don't they only see the fun part of it. They don't know the business side of it, which is a big deal because two plus two in music is not for it's of not. course. And also a very big thank you to you two for coming through yesterday for the three FM um uh, and three drive, three sun three FM sun sunrise um event, power of three. You guys were literally <laughs> the highlights and the way the inmates were so excited yeah. when Joke Nation came on. Yeah. Um and also this Sunday yeah. you are performing at talented kids yes. what should we expect <laughs> it's going to be nice yeah, yes we, 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 we nice. have we've had this connection with kids mm -hmm. since we started with yeah. this music you know yeah. we always um yesterday we played a show at Kofo Radio, yeah. you know a kids wow. show with the families yeah. it was so nice Definitely. so we can't we wait can't after wait three of them you, you, yeah. yeah we went to Kofo oh, Radio. so wow. we normally do like four three Every yeah. day, so. if, in a day. Oh yeah, I asked for quotes. My goodness. Oh, that's good. Hey, give me a minute. Let me just ask. So I was just checking the nominations for VGMA. You guys are in Afro best Afro pop song of the year for yeah. Goza. Yeah. Goza. Would you Goza. describe Goza as an Afro pop no, song? It's not no, it's not. Like I said, it's house music fused with Afro beat and then I'm a and piano. Then I'm a piano. So, the so when you give me a, a genre. Mm. I think you need to come and research into my music. And so then, that's what I'm saying. We need yeah. like 
producers, you know, who are young producers, who are experts, to mm. go out into mm. the studios. To break down the genre. But why haven't you said anything about this? Because Jay Bad, mm. I mean, people raise okay, objections, so and it. then he was taking when out you, of that when category. You, when, you are, when you come out and you say, you either sound arrogant, yeah. you might be or taking exactly. different. Mm. But, but then you need to speak context. up. Yes, no, well, but we need to understand it first. Before. Take, for example, our music, we need to understand our music. Mm. The music is supposed to be spearheaded by producers. Mm. When it is spearheaded by a producer, the sound is clear. But we have people who are not even knowledgeable about music that are spearheading mm, mm, our mm, music here. Mm. Please take South Africa for an example. Let's not talk mm, about the Nigerians. Let's mm. talk about South Africa. They are doing amazing things. Yeah. 